Oh, well. So, again, this is White Knoll Park in, uh, right off of Milwaukee, out of Milwaukee. And, uh, Noel, Noel is N-K-N-O-L-L. -L. Which one? White I Knoll? No. Oh, uh, and I think it's N-A-L-L -L or something like that. Oh. It's uh, White, Whitnall, Whitnall Park, Pond Whit and stuff. Uh, yeah, I went there uh, one day and a paint, did a couple paintings from, from there. And I took some pictures and somebody wanted to paint a, wa a waterfall here. And uh, I don't see her showing up, so. I bet we have to watch later on. Can you believe it? This, something this else nice she one? shows up? Yeah. Well, no, she's not going to, she's going to miss it. Maybe we should do something else. Sure. But, well, it's too late now. I got to print it out. So it's, it's we got to go with it. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, I want a five by seven, please. <laughs> you want a five by seven? Yeah, you would. You would. Okay. Uh, here, let me pull, pull it. <laughs> yeah, take an order for pictures again. <laughs> I, I send them to you. You guys can do whatever you want with them. You're you're saving money. Oh heck yeah! Buy the boatloads. You know these. <laughs> you know five dollar eight by tens and stuff. Oh here it is. This is oh, a pretty. Park. What, uh, yes, it looks a lot better here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. it does. My thing's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, bland. But that, it's gonna be a. It's, I'm gonna use that more as a pointer of where I'm gonna attack and stuff. Oh, this is a challenge with greens. Oh, you know, uh, one of the totally one of Picasso's fav, famous sayings is he has 16 tubes of green paint, and when he goes to paint something, it's never the right color. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's the thing about greens. Greens are very, very very good comp uh tough tough colors to use in fact i will oh I'll, I'll even do this in green to show you around yeah it's this is a tough one just because of these let me go because of these greens in the background here if you can these greens right here yeah they are so they are much so brighter than anything up up and in this area you know, almost right here is about the only other place that challenges it. So one of the key things I think we're going to have to do is kind of, you know, push those guys back. We want to send them back a little bit farther. So I think we're just, I'm just going to forget about those being that bright of green and mm -hmm. just kind of push this whole area back here, add a little bit more blue to it and push it back farther and, instead of having, because it's kind of coming forward a little bit too far anyway. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'll show, and then, uh, yeah, these rocks over here, I, I really like these rocks. These rocks were really kind of mm, fun, fun to do. I think try to do these rocks when we do them as simply as possible, of course, but to think of them as only like two shades to these rocks. You either have the dark, a dark shade, you know, in, in the crevices. You got a medium shade maybe, you know, ar around here. And then you got the highlight. The highlight's usually going to be the one facing the facing the sun, where it's getting you know that direct light and stuff. So that's how you're going to, you know, that's really all you have to do with the, those guys is like try to keep them as simple as possible. Uh, yeah, maybe they have to change a little bit, but they're all wet and they really we're pretty close. You know, some some you don't even have to do anything. Some can just be black, can pretty pretty much black. You know. Uh, the challenging, the fun challenging part is going to be this area here, of course, right? This, this part of the waterfall when it keeps coming down. Yeah. That one. Hmm? I just yeah. said, yeah. It's almost like glass, you know, like if you want to paint glass, how it's reflective and you can see behind, but still on top. Yeah. So that's, that's what, that's what we're almost have to do. We're going to have to paint, paint the, everything behind the dark behind it and then come forward with uh with everything so we're going to make sure that these darks we paint in here just kind of put some color back in here and then we'll paint the light over it and stuff we'll come up to these uh these beiges and greens and blues and stuff in in that are i, I see in these uh in the streaks coming down mm -hmm. and then the, yeah across the the froth in the stuff coming down and stuff 
yeah, we're going to have to pay attention to, to that uh, because I think, you know, it's really kind of a, kind of, oh, it has a slight purple pinkish tone to it, but it's kind of grayed down mm -hmm. and stuff against this, you know, really warm green here. This kind of, a, yeah, it has a little lot of red and yellow into it. Into it. I mean, that's where, that's where you get this army khaki look, but then you get these, I like what I really like. Oh, you probably hear me cancel that. What I really like is this stuff right here. There's these blues that kind of go in here. In, mm. in here yeah so look we'll we'll definitely look for those in and when we get there and stuff and then you know we'll just try to keep make different shades of green for these things the tree itself uh you know isn't too big a problem it's a nice lean kind of arcing and stuff so i don't really think we'll have too much problem with that right lynette Right. Oh, never a problem. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So, all right, let's get rid of that. Oh, so this, this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this, I'll be interesting thing. I, this is what I painted when I was there. Nice. Nice. And stuff. Yeah. You know, things you can do in an hour. You only get about an hour to paint. And when you yeah. do a... So you mix up your colors and then attack. But what I'll be trying to do, I'm gonna use this over here when I, when I mix paints. I'll use this for some, basically the colors in here and stuff. I think back in here, this is what I was seeing back there instead of the what the camera, camera shot. But I still don't like it. I, ha I put a little bit of red in here. That's probably in, into the greens, trying to gray them back. Mm -hmm. And I think they they it'd probably be nicer if they were in uh, had a little more blue in them instead of red, a little more, just just a little more purple almost into them and pushed them back a lot better. I think that would look nicer. And down here, I think I was just running out of time. Moving water <laughs> is is tough. It's really tough to do. Yeah. And were stuff. you in shade when you were mixing your palette outdoors? Because it's a whole different ball game. Oh, to get it is. The bright it light. Is. It, yeah, I was trying to, I had, I had shade, I had shade and mosquitoes. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> um, I, I forgot to bring my repellent. So, uh, mosquitoes and I was wearing shorts and oh, the, the mosquitoes <laughs> found me right by the water, you know, just sitting target. Oh my God. That, <laughs> you're the, a meal it's like you you put a stroke down in your SWAT, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what was happening. <laughs> Okay, so everybody's still here then? No one, no one, just check up here real quick, see if anybody needs to come in. Okay, we're good to go. All right, I'm going to switch off. Okay, one thing also, guys, if uh, I'm going to switch, switch to a different camera and stuff over the palette, if you can see me, see the mixing of the paint. Uh, if, if it goes bad, you know, this, the link here goes bad, like it does a lot. Uh, Look in your emails in a, in a minute or two, and I'll uh, send you a new invite, and we'll start up again. Okay. All right? Okay. All right, just good to know, because you never know what uh, what's going to happen here. Let's see. Here we go. See if it goes. There it no. is. Oh, look at that. That is what a wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I got to go over there. Okay. Let me turn this around real quick. Let's see if that worked. Good. Let me get this. I thought I had it a little bit better than that, but there we go. You guys can see that? Yes. yes. I can't see the paints. The paints? Oh, 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 that's okay. Up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well. Let me one second. I'll twist there, it up. There, that's perfect. Better. Yeah. You know, that would always be good to be able to see the paints, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So paints. I have room for white. My man, my white I used up on the last painting. The one thing about 
doing these online courses, I tell you, my my paints here stay a lot fresher. <laughs> I'm not just <laughs> going from, you know, my my palette, my disposable palette of school to this. They're staying right here. So the big globs of paint. White's gone though. Okay. I'm gonna put out here uh some little uh, ble unbleached white. And that's just a little beigey color. You what's can also the, make that problem. Excuse me? What's the name of the beigey color? Oh, this is a uh, unbleached white. Titanium. Oh, okay. You can make it really easy with just white and white and uh, probably burn umber and stuff. I just, you know, yeah, I can I can do that, but I just want to just get it out of the way. I have like a buff. Uh, here's, huh? I have like a buff, titanium buff. Yeah, titanium buff is probably very close. It's just probably just another name of it, name version of it. Uh, cad yellow. Cad yellow light, that is. Cad red light right here. Always put the tops back on because they always get everywhere. This cat orange, I have a little cat orange. That's going to be a good one to mix in there because there's a couple over here with the, some phthalo green and stuff. That's going to really probably go a long ways. I got, uh, that's a little Venetian. I'm still looking for the cat for that. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, here it is, ochre. Ochre is good. Ochre would be a nice one for this one too because it's a nice different yellow. It'd be coming come in handy probably on these trees and stuff. And, and in the water, definitely in the water. That and the burnt siennas. So right here then I have Venetian. This is cobalt blue hue. I got enough of that out, I think, and I'm not gonna freshen it up. This is burnt sienna. So I'm gonna put some more burnt sienna down. I'm probably gonna tone my canvas with that too. The next one, because I wanna I want to get a brighter feel to it. I think I used burnt on this, this painting here. I think I probably used burnt umber here, but I'm gonna put some burnt umber out too. But the next ones going across are uh, this burnt umber. This is a uh, phalo green, and then this is Prussian blue. And I'm sure my Prussian blue by now is well got a got a skin on it, so it usually means it's. Tried well, already. Why did you? Why this is Jeannie? Why did you choose Prussian blue versus some, you know, like a French ultramarine or something? Um, it gives gives me a, a uh, more intense blue color than pro than uh, than ultramarine. Ultramarine uh, doesn't really uh, ultramarine and, and this uh, my uh, cobalt are about the same. You know, I mean, yeah. ultramarine is just slightly cooler. Than, than this one. And this is a very warm, uh, warm blue. And it, it'll come in, it comes in, it, you can use it in place of like uh, cerulean blue and stuff because cerulean blue, you know, for skies and stuff. But this, this color right here, knocked down with a lot of white, will do that, do about the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I can see this in a few spots, maybe. I'm thinking, I'm, I'll, tr you know, I know it. It's good to have a few different blues and with this green to make to make up these uh, all those different greens we've got going on mm -hmm. and stuff and then that brown that orange brown uh, water and stuff. So I'm gonna use this as sort of my guide for this area here. Without, I'm take up not too much room here. All right. So I'm going to start off looking at these rocks in this area and, and looking at them. And I'm going to go with probably, uh, I'm going to stay a little bit warmer than I did here. I want a little cool. I'm going to go just straight off with uh, a straight mix of cad red and uh, cad red and blue. Probably on the blue side, one on a little bit on the red side.
It's using Prussian blue, right, Jim? No, I'm just regular. Uh, this right now is just uh, oh, this is a cobalt blue hue. Right now, yeah. And I'm going to use that for my a lot of my darks. I'm trying to. I'll try not to use too much of any any Prussian blue, but you know, I try not to use. You switch to back and forth because it, it complicates the painting and stuff. I try to keep it as pretty simple as I can. Uh, from there, I am going to go to. Uh, I think I'll go go to these trees here. And uh, I think I can use a lot of this color. It's probably right into the, the this little tree here. But this tree over here, I think I'm going to have to go with and ch change it up to, to a burnt sienna and blue. And leave it on the burnt sienna side. You can. That's it. Darkening up. Might have to lighten that up. I can use. Yes, I'm going to use a little bit of this buff for the unbleached white into it. Just a tone, before I can start seeing, okay, almost too much. Okay. And I was thinking about that in, in the end of this, uh, other parts of the tree up going up here and stuff. But I think this has turned a little bit light. I'm going to put some blue back into it. I'll just save some of that pile. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting closer. Just a little more both in that one. This was burnt sienna, the blue hue, and the... And, and just a little of the buff white or the unbleached okay. white. Or you could just use white. I mean, I should, you know, not everybody has that. But now I'm thinking about this tree here and stuff. Probably, if I wanted to get this highlight here, I can probably start almost with this. This is no, just a little bit too much white in it. If I add just a little bit of orange to it, some of that cat orange to it. And just a little bit of white, I think. I'm gonna go with regular white. So did you pull that original off of your uh, cobalt blue and cad red? This one? Yeah. No, I used, I, in this original one, I know I used probably a, a lizard crimson and blue down in here, behind it, behind uh -huh. here. But now that I'm looking at it and, you know, had a, the year before, I mean, look at it now, I think I, I probably could, it should have been a little bit warmer, uh, dark right there, because I think it's uh, just a little, a uh, little too cool. Okay. That's all I was thinking. This has gone a little funky on me. I'm going to add a little burnt umber in into it, to, just to tone it down, trying to get it in this area. <laughs> Does not want to go. And yellow. I don't like this. Put it over there. I'll use it for something else. <laughs> I'll use it for something else. It didn't 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 go out go out, go well. Let's just go with some yellow in the into this. And some burnum. And that'll probably be a lot closer. That's a lot nicer. That's gonna be I can get that in the in that area quick. That's a this is burnt sienna, blue, and just a little bit of yellow. And you're gonna find this in that water and stuff, probably just maybe might have to add just a little uh, orange to it and stuff, but you almost mix these two together and probably get the water. Oh, I forgot what I was, I didn't want to do, uh, go ahead and throw that in there without looking at what I was doing, what color I'm looking at. Okay, yeah, I was looking at, still looking at the brighter side of that tree. Yeah, this is it. This will work. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's in this vein here. 
this will be a good good starting spot. Maybe just richen it up a little bit. Maybe a touch more yellow into it. Okay. So the tree colors, you know, burnt sienna and blue. Uh, maybe just a touch of white. This is burnt sienna. This is on the burnt sienna side, blue and uh, a little bit of white, and it really lightened up. Um, this is burnt sienna and blue uh, with yellow in it. And this is burnt sienna and blue with yellow in it with uh, a bunch of white, small pot of white into it. This down here is a really good watercolor. And it came from burnt sienna, blue, uh, and yellow. And it it's almost like that buff white, but it has a tinge of yellow to it and richness. Uh, that you won't find in buff white. I mean, buff white just a, oh, just a, a little cooler than this. So I'm going to keep keep a stash of this over here because that's going to be really nice to do uh, a lot of the foam with. Add just that by adding some white to it. And just basically, I can just get a big pile of this. I should probably make a big pile of it because when you do this foam. The foam and stuff on the, out, over here, you're going to need, it's going to go over a lot of paint. So the bigger the pile of paint you can grab and use, the better it's going to be. It's going to be able to throw it on a lot, a lot so easier. What is this, Jim, again? This is, this is your, is white and? This is, yeah, burnt sienna, a little bit of blue, just barely. At this point, it's just a little bit. It was this tree color here, which I was using down. I was mixing up for for the shadow here, or, or the the light hitting, hitting starting to hit hit this uh, parts of this tree here, and uh, and I just happened to hit put some white on it, and it came to this color. And I know this is a really good color for this area here, coming down to the waterfalls and stuff. You know, so definitely, I just thought it while. Uh, before I take and mess up this pile and I'm painting stuff and I, I just thought I better you know mix, mix save some for the for this later on. I'll mix up some other va variables of color to go with this group this color. Probably some pinks and some blues in the same value range, which will work be beautiful. Beautiful. It's gonna be really nice. All right, uh let's get the since I'm talking about the water and we'll paint the water and then we've got a lot of greens to do but the greens are going to be all built off of each other and stuff I want to really separate those guys out and I'll, I'll build them out down here uh, uh, so this water here it's really dead here in this 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 photo and stuff but we're going to go back to that burnt sienna a lot of burnt sienna Make a good pile of this would be great. You'd be really happy. I'm gonna do probably two things here. I'm gonna try go back to the yellow. So the difference between here's burnt sienna and here's burnt umber with yellow. Both the same same with both. One will turn green, and one one turns kind of orange. This cooler one's burn. This one right here is uh, burn umber mixed in here, and that's burnt sienna. And you both have just about the same amount of yellow in them. So, but you're gonna be able, to, yeah. Okay, well, just looking at it, you're gonna need both these to be able to do the water. So you're gonna need a pile of both these, and it's almost just a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, a lot of yellow. The same here, burn number and a lot of yellow. Maybe just interchange these guys just a little bit. Maybe put a little of the orange into this guy, and then just a little bit of that in so here too. So yours is looking very green. Mine is green. looking very brown. Okay, you probably have too much, too much. Uh, yeah, I I barely scraped any of this stuff. You, it's you know, you just took take a scraping of it. See how thin that is? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and then you add the yellow to it, and it's just that the, just it's that strong, you know, that dark will darken it up. Not quite that little, but it just depends. It's just the recipe is just uh, a lot less stuff. I'll just use this over over later. I'll find a place for it. Well, there's no blue in that. No blue, no blue. Did I say blue? No. See? No, Thanks. you didn't. I'm just. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to confuse things. Hey, I just you never know. I I, can't, I don't even know what I'm saying half the time when I'm doing these. <laughs> Good just, thing it's I, being recorded. <laughs> I know. I'm just I'm just by the seat of my pants here. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that color here, this watercolor. Ooh, boy, man, that's a beautiful color. This is, you know, mixing the paint. It's try. It's just trying to remember these these recipes because they come in handy so much in other paintings down the road and stuff. Knowing that, you know, just burnt umber and burnt sienna with yellow can make some great great colors. This is a really nice grass color. You keep adding yellow and stuff to it, and uh, you get a like a burnt out. Uh, 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 summer grass out of it and it's really nice. Here I'm just using uh, just a little bit of the burnt, uh, burnt sienna and yellow and hit it with white. And these, these are going to be my watercolors. I'm going to be able to find that this is going to be in in those streaks of, of stuff coming down here. This might even be it, you know, I'll be able to find it in the tree somewhere. All these colors are, gonna, are built off of just burn umber and blue and white and some yellow. Very simple. And I'm going to do the same thing over here too. I'm just going to do one more before I go. Leave this part. And that's just, this is the burnt sienna in, in yellow. And I'm just going to cut it with a ton of white. And it's making some really beautiful, it's a really nice stuff. Uh, nice you know uh, beige here and stuff and it's just different than this stuff because it doesn't have as much red into it it's just a more of a grayed out color grayed out colors are really what really holds your your uh, paintings together and stuff all the mid midtones they do all the work uh, let's save that okay I did the rocks darks did the tree I didn't really do, I'm not going to really worry about too much about the, the, uh, the, uh, um, midtones and stuff on the rocks yet. I think I can, I'm going to be able to pull some of this stuff fairly easy. Pull these two to get from these two piles and, uh, just grain down a little bit and be able to get these rock, rock colors here. Just if I added just a little bit of blue to a piece of it, I'd probably get it. So you're adding blue to the burnt sienna and yellow, or yeah, burnt sienna? a little bit of blue to it because I'm thinking about these, yeah, these colors here. These rocks and stuff, maybe, maybe just a scratch of red into it. So I'll put a little bit of Venetian into that color too, just to gray it down getting just a little dark and go back with the white, lighten it up a little bit. There you go. There we go. Not crazy. I'm not crazy. Just partly crazy. I'll just, so I got, I just add a little more white to it and I got, I'm going to get another just a little bit of high, more highlight, so I have something to go back and forth to when I do these rocks here. There's only a couple of them here. I don't like to have to do too many of them. Uh, okay, we got the darks for the rocks. This could be for the waterfall back in here. Let's well, thinking about the green going over it and stuff. So I don't want too much. I'm thinking about these these kind of greens and yellows going over it. And I don't want them to mix and become too greenish 
and stuff. So I am thinking, let's just go with burnt umber and blue. Burnt umber and blue. We're back in here. Probably, you know, maybe just a little more burnt umber in that too. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. And then they got the water, the burn numbers and stuff, and then the foam, the tree. The sky is just, you know, blue and, a little bit of blue and white, maybe just a little alizarin into it. So let's go into the greens. I'm not going to work, say, worry about the sky here too much. Let's go into those greens because there's so many of them. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, this darker green in the corner. You guys probably can't see that. I'll just move since I moved it. And I'm gonna, it's a bluer green. Uh, so I am going to start with blue and again put in just a little bit of burnt sienna into it. Then bring in some yellow, little by little, little, little yellow. This is pretty dark. I'm gonna say I can use this right underneath these uh, these rocks, right above the rocks and stuff. I might be able to use some little bit of this, but I was thinking about going going above it and stuff. It's a lot bluer. So just add a little more yellow. Here we got. Measure. Okay, it's just a, could go a little bluer. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to it, just clean white. Just a little bit. Not too much because I don't want it to go up too much. Just I'm thinking about that being in here. That looks really gray. Should yeah. it be? Yeah, Should it be? like a military gray. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you got a military gray. You probably got a little bit too much yellow into it. Uh, or you got you got a little too much. You want you might have got a little burnt sienna, too much burnt sienna in it. Yeah, I think so. Probably burnt sienna. I would try, that's where I would think. Uh, uh, you look for other other places you might be able to use that because there are places up up here, you know, farther up up here that you might be able to use them. Hear me move my liquids out of here for I can have just a hair more room. Yeah, it's not horrible. So what did you start with again? And I'll start over with mine. Um, I start off with this color here. It's just burnt sienna in blue. It's and on the blue cobalt, side. Right? And it's on the blue side. Yeah, the cobalt blue hue. Uh, and then I uh, added just a little bit of yellow to it. It's on the blue side. It's really on the heavy on the blue side. Okay. That's probably what you know. That red in the in the burnt sienna is just probably coming through. And then I then I added yet yeah, just a little bit of yellow to it. And then I added a little bit of white, just a smidging of white, just where I could see the green in it. And then I saved some of that over here and made a pile. And I added just a little bit more yellow or yellow and white to it. And uh, just because it, it's right above there, this this color here I can see matching in with the top of the rocks, you know, being the being the rock colors, and then this coming in right above it, being a nice gradual uh, change into in, uh, into temperature and into uh, into the shade, keeping it kind of dark back there. And then being able to bring these greens on top. A lot of times, I want to when I do greens, I want to paint from behind, 
the greens uh -huh. and get the reds and the brown and the purples and stuff in there and then really come forward build them forward a step and then uh, get a good mid-tone green and then hit hit the that on top of that mid-tone green with a nice the strong highlight of the greens that's really catching the sun um, so that's where I'd be on this green here and to be get there we got to have some of this green in it to hit yellow so this is just yellow right here this has some yellow and has just a little bit of uh burnt sienna in it probably so i was just using some put it over here and it's gonna be way too yellow but if i had just a touch of white just or touch of yellow touch of blue into it bring it in real slow I want to keep it on the yellow, 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 green side. And uh, this would be for these guys in here. And so it, it changes pretty fast here. So I want to always just bring it in the green, the blue, and the, the darker color into the lighter color, bring it in slowly. If you bring it in too slow, too fast, it will just, you know, you waste your paint. You're going to have to start over. Okay. It's getting there. It just needs to be cooled off. So I'm going to use just a little bit of white. White is kind of a blue, too. It's a cool, cool color. So if I put that in here, I'll heighten this up and also gray it out and be able to use it back in here a little bit. Just, just probably just still. So yours looks pretty yellow. You want it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm just bringing it up slowly. Because it. There we go. I'm just gonna have to. I think I'll go with this. Because I'm also thinking about the greens. It's gonna go over. How much that they're gonna mix and stuff too okay so this is would be a back like i would consider a back highlight back in here uh in the photo this photo looks like it's cut it's cut off a little bit from uh over here uh, so i'm gonna start adding just a little more uh yellows to it uh, let me do the, let me do another another of my favorite greens and stuff first. We're gonna go phthalo. Phthalo strong, very strong. You don't need a whole lot because you're gonna probably end up using all your yellow to do it. But I'm gonna go phthalo, and I'm gonna go with uh, yellow ochre in this. And it's a little bit more yellow ochre than it is phthalo, uh, phthalo. But this green, yeah, this green's gonna come forward before these guys in the, in the, in the progression of greens. So these would be my back greens, like in the, right above the waterfall area. And then these guys would come up in the next pile of trees and greens, you know, another, is it probably 20 yards in front of it would be these guys and i can make this just i probably put just a touch of red in it just put a little bit of uh alizarin in this just to gray the green out just a little bit more okay and then i'm going to hit this take a little pile of that just like i did with that yellow and put it over here and cut it with some cad red, cad yellow, I mean. And this will start being some of the highlights. Just a little, yeah, it's, it's about the right value. It's just right now a little screamy. So if I even just steal a little bit of watercolor over here, this little burnt sienna and yellow here, and put that in there, it'll probably it'll calm it down. 
I just don't want any like day glow <laughs> colors in these things. So I'm going to do take that pile and move this guy out of the way. Take this pile and then just split it a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of white to it. You know, up a little bit. Give me another variation. Needs a little bit of red. So let's add just a scratching of CAD red into it. Now gray it out. All my greens, whenever I make a green, I usually find a red of some sort to put in them. Just to knock them down because they get really uh, strong and vibrant, a little bit too vibrant -y and stuff. Uh, okay, Prussian blue. Let's try some Prussian blue and yellow. Let's see what that does. See what kind of green that makes. There's all kinds of greens we got here. So Prussian blue reminds me a lot of phthalos. It's a very based on dye, dye colors and stuff. Let's go cad. Go with some just cad yellow in the, into it. And it comes like a kind of a goofy kind of green. Kind of reminds me of like uh, the greens you used to get in uh, poster paints and stuff. Green and. Uh, you look here, there's hardly any place it could even go. It doesn't really belong. So let's put a, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, cat orange into it. Now make it an, warm it up a lot. And I'm thinking about this now, the strength of this, just because of, yeah, because of uh, what it's doing and stuff, because the Prussian is such a strong color and the uh, cat orange mixed in here with some yellow. This is going to be like the, the go into some of the greens in, in here stuff. Not the highlights, but just the greens, the mid, the, the fold, inside foliage stuff. And then I'll just cut this again with yellow and get the highlight. Probably have to add just a little sky to it. Yeah, this is gonna be, so I got like, I have like eight greens here for this front area. I'm gonna use, go one step higher on this thing. I'm using all my yellow. Maybe just a little bit of orange can do. Just for this, Front area and stuff. We're done. We have some just some warmth right here on the tips where the sun's hitting the top of that bush and stuff. Okay. All right. I need one more greens now. Sorry, one more. I'm thinking about this back here behind behind the waterfall area. In here, I'm going to start off with a purple and then gray it out and then green it out. Stuff so I'm going to go with just a little bit of uh, blue, a little bit of and uh, just a touch of Venetian together. I'm going to add some white to it, too much. A little bit more work color to both of those guys. And then get this kind of a blue, kind of a smoke purple here. It's on the, just a little bit on the red side. Could go a little bit stronger. There we go. All right. And I'm gonna lay this. This is, you're also gonna find, start to find in the waterfall and stuff too. So we're not, not making up of goofy colors and stuff. Uh, this is going to be also, you're probably going to be able to find it. You know, these big streaks of, uh, in the shadows here of going over and stuff. You can probably find, find it pretty close to those foams, the shadows of the foam on the water and stuff. So uh, I'm going to just 
take and glue that out just a little bit more, put a little more glue on one side of it, get a little more white into it, have enough big enough pile here. No yawning over there, I can hear you yawning. Yeah. Just busy mixing, trying. Yeah. No, that's it. It is just simple. Uh, I like a lot of these, uh, these blues, grayed, grayed out blues and stuff in the water that are in the shade and stuff. They are these, just these two. It's just a uh, Venetian and blue and white. Heavy on the white. And then I usually just make a couple variations of of either more Ven more Venetian and more blue. And then I'm going to make one just, just really just blue and white. Just to get it in, the, in there's some spots here that could use some real intense color. Maybe some, I just need like, like a brush, brush full of it here and there. But it's nice to have just a little pile to dig into, like little goodies and stuff, little treats to put in there. Uh, I'll do the sky too. I'm gonna, instead of doing, uh, let me go just blue and white in the sky for now. Just a little bit of touch of alizarin. Got a little bit of yellow in here from that. She's fine. But I'm thinking about going into that. Into the sky. Just a little more alizarin into it. So it can be a It's pretty close. It's just going to be a little light yet. You're not using the Prussian. You're using. No, I didn't use the Prussian. I try to. I like. I kind of like to stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, Kevin I, Hill. I, Kevin Hill wouldn't like you. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of takes over a painting so quickly. You know, it's it can make some beautiful. Gets a really nice sky color, but this sky up here is is lower part of the range of. The sky. You're just using a cobalt blue hue with white? Cobalt blue hue and just a little bit of alizarin into it. Okay. Probably just a little bit more and then right at the bottom here in this area here a lot more white just a little bit more white. The photo probably burnt out a little bit too. So, so I'll just use those guys for, for the sky and I'll be able to find some other spots. This stuff here, I'm going to find here. Now, the foam. <laughs> this front foam that I see coming out of the sunlight here and stuff. It's probably going to be in here, but it, it has, a, has an orange tint to it. So, I'm going to make one color up here just for the foam in the front. Has a little bit of blue. I'm going to put a little cad red into it. This just left over. My knife hasn't even changed from uh, from making the sky yet. So I'm just going with that. Just a little bit of maybe orange. Maybe that's what I was missing that day. What it wasn't cad orange was not on my uh, ooh cad orange was not on my palette those those days last year kind of a recent thing i put on there oh this is a, i'm a loss this is white and uh this is white uh just white and a little cad cad uh cad orange mixed with just a touch of sky over here gray it out Just lightly warm, and then I'm just going to save some of it. It's getting, I'm going to use it over here. I don't need my, that much more here. 
I'm going to just cut it with a lot of white. Cut it be a little bit higher. I'm just you never get it there with that much paint. We'll never get it in, into that area. It's pretty uh, doggone close. That maybe just a touch of yellow. All these colors together. When I get when I start painting this foam down here, I'll be able to the base. This is going to be my base pile, but I'll be able to pull pull from these little piles leftovers and stuff to really create some of this stuff. So this is the pink I was talking about needing at the end. This is probably just a little too dark, but I'll be able to use that probably in the rocks or something. So I'll put it over here. And probably find it up there. Find it up here. Uh, green in that tree, I don't think this tree here in green, I don't think it, it's, it's really money different than any of these other ones stuff so that's my uh <sighs> that is what we're doing here let me point them out you want me to point them out one more time where things are going to okay. go okay these these darks here are basically the rocks in this area here and i'm going to over paint you know when i paint these rocks in i'm going to paint it paint them into the water a little bit uh then i'm going to paint the I want to paint that tree in. Maybe I don't want to paint that tree in right away. I put, I think I put the tree in last just because of uh, there's so many things behind it yet. You see that well, you got the waterfall here and you got this thing here. If you put that guy in there, you got to paint this stuff off from behind and stuff. So it's just going to be a mess. So I'll probably paint this guy in, paint this water in, paint this these guys in. Start painting the greens in. Yeah, paint this darks in here, the oranges and stuff. Clean my brush. Paint the paint the blues in for the sky. And then when I got the blues in, I'll start working down here and start bringing in, painting in these things. And then work on the water at the last. After I get the water all done right here, I'll probably then I'll just draw these two guys in and put them in last. Yeah, that's probably the best way. You know, I might put in this one right here, this that tree, but this tree I'll put in last just because uh, he covers up, crosses over everything in front. So he's he's asking to be put in last. So what color are we putting behind the waterfall? Uh, waterfall. Probably a bright pink or something like that. What do you think? Bright pink? <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question. Pay attention. <laughs> I go to burnt sienna. I got burnt umber and blue here. I was going to start put, okay. putting that underneath. Gotcha. And stuff. Probably where they have this gap here. I probably that's going to show a little bit more warmth. So I'd have, probably have, the, have a little bit more burnt umber in it. And then uh, over here where the water's going over it and stuff, probably have a little bit more blue in it. So let me tape this up top. We'll switch back over here. Let me see. There you go. Is this this high enough for you guys? Can you guys see the whole thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could I could shrink this, come down just a hair more, center it a little bit. There you go. All right, so I'm going to tone it, and I'm going to tone it in burnt sienna in white. Using my big brush. And I'm thinking, you know, the design, design I had and stuff, the rule of thirds and stuff, how I'm going to go about it and stuff. And how I, I think you know, things are gonna work out. Right about here's the waterfall. Right about here, it's gonna end, and then it's gonna come down here and just just go like that. So I'm just gonna darken in just a little bit. I'm going with burnt sienna because it has a little more yellow uh, and red into it. 
and it's not as cool. I want this a little more vibrant and stuff. I'm afraid if I use uh, burnt umber like I do a lot, that it would uh, probably kill some of this color off. Take it really easy on the sky up here. I'm just gonna basically just gonna just get rid of some white here. I'm gonna tone these guys down back down. Okay. Then I'm gonna tone that out a little bit and we should be good. I got a little bit of bush action going here from going down in here a little bit coming in. <laughs> That's a new one. What jingle was that? I know it's just a chime. It's just a chime counting to seven. Oh, okay. Good. Good to you know, keep that going because you know I, I'm gonna quit We're exactly on time tonight. I'm not gonna let these guys keep me forever anymore. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no more midnight. No more midnight painting for you guys. <laughs> God, if you guys were with me on Saturday, a few of you guys were, a couple of you guys were. Yeah, we were just had a really kind of a tough one going and so it was like noon so quickly I didn't even get a chance to you know get much painted because we had to draw this up this a person out we were doing people and stuff so it took a lot more to do so basically right here's the waterfall right there coming in he's got to come in back in here rocks are going to go about here you know, and I got the tree, and then, you know, you got the big tree going across here, but I don't want to pollute it too much. Got a little bit of a bush over here. And uh, that should do it. I'm just going to go and put, put insert my darts, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go with that dark I had. Uh, it's just... Oh, I, I know what it was. It was, that's uh, cad red, cad red and blue. Cad red and straight and blue. This is on the blue side. I'm going to put this in the back behind the tree. Here, let me, uh, that's one of the things I was going to do. You guys are still working there. Let me tape this guy up. So I can point to it. There's that. There you go. All right. Take this up where I can point to it for you guys. I'll put it over my, I'm not going to do paint the sky for a while, so I'll just leave it up there in the corner. No, that's not good. You guys can't see that. Uh, let's bring it down here. Is that better? Get rid of that. Yeah, that'll work, right? Good. You guys are all talking so much. You guys can chime in anytime. Did I lose y'all? I was making too much noise with my painting. Yeah, I'm, trying, oh. I'm trying to get mine on mute. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Good to know. All right, so I got uh, blue and uh, cad red here. And that's going to go in here to where the right in here. I'm going to put it closer the blue side. See how blue that is? Stuff. I'm going to put that back in there. And then right in here, I'm putting some of this, making it the Venetian, the CAD side in the front here. that hole. Now I'm just going to take it up to a little bit. Just to give the other paints something to play with when we get there. And this is on the blue side I'm using here too. So it can, uh, it'll mix fine with the greens and stuff. So I can just start feeding it in a little bit. I want to try to take that blue too back around because it goes right around the tree. 
gets in right into here, right in the middle. Yikes. What was that? I tell you, I tell you. I'm also going to start using some just up here in the front too, just a little bit that front tree, front bush. Just put a little bit there, probably on the redder side. It's just going to have this. This has a little lizard in it, or not lizard, uh, cat in it. Just, just put the shape in. Just the inside shape of that. Just work that in a little bit. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Thing of beauty. Then, you guys with me? Good. With you. We're with you. We're painting like crazy. Good. Okay. Right underneath this guy. Move it up just a little bit. Okay. This is where the waterfall is. That edge. Okay. Think about where that water's coming down, those little spots. And we make the ones that are bigger, you know, that are more open, make them on the little bit on the brown for the per number side in blue. Just a little bit. You know, and then come back. with the burn umber in blue it's on the blue side for the rep for where the water is really going over it see right in here you can really see the difference just getting that in i'm thinking about what goes on top of it and stuff like that maybe even go back and use just a little of that cad red here and put that in here just in in a few spots here so i think uh uh, when the sun warms up and stuff, we probably hit, hit get a little more warmth right there. And then since I got that on my brush, I'm just going to sit here and just tap the top edge of that waterfall real quick, just to keep it going. And I got this one spot here where it drops off and stuff. Let's just get that in there too. I think it goes about there. I'm not even sure where it goes right in here or not. It's a good spot for it. Okay. So we're done. That's it. That's all we're doing tonight. You guys done? Good. See you later. Bye. <laughs> all right. I'm going to carry up here a little bit. This is where I'm going to go with that dark green I'm talking about. Uh, the first dark green I made, it just burnt sienna and blue. Just a little bit of, and just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of uh, yellow into it. And I was gonna put it in, work it, start working it in here, and then working it in behind here. It goes in right behind this tree here. It just looks like it cut off a little bit. The photo print, but it goes right in there. And you can keep pretty thin and stuff. Which green is this, Jim? This is burnt sienna and blue and just a little bit of yellow and stuff. Let me use it there. And start bringing it in over here, right here in the corner of it. And then this would be just use it up just use it up there i guess just do the basic base good base all right see how fast this is one going so like i said when you plan air and paint this thing you only get an hour base a little bit a little bit over an hour you know you get a little bit more time if you mix your paints ahead of time you get a little more time to paint I'm going to save that green. I've been working with the dark greens. I'm going to go over here. This is the Prussian blue green uh, I made up. 
and I'm gonna just start dabbing it in into where this guy goes. I have that dark uh, purple underneath it and stuff. This is gonna be like, yeah, just a little spot going on. I want to be able to be able to see through this thing so the green can't take over. So I'm just gonna, I want to be able to see that dark brown and stuff in there. And stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it a little bit. Work it up just a little bit more up here. Let it take over, it starts to take over up here, the lighter purples and stuff. Big one is patches, big patches. Uh, okay. Let's go. Now I said we're going to go back here. Let me move this. I'm moving this down here. This is where I can be touching the water for a few minutes. I don't think it will stick to this. We're over there. But now I want to come back and paint, paint this area back in here, these guys. Got a little more green on here. This is where I was going to use that. Uh, start off with uh, Venetian, Venetian and blue and uh, a little bit in white and you know just start putting it underneath these greens that i'm going to put in so because purple this purple here is a natural grayer to uh to greens and stuff if you look on the color wheel purple you uh, gray it out it's also a uh, what is it? Jason color. Complementary color to it. That's it. Green will gray, uh, red will gray it out. But the, so the red and, the, and this purple grays it out. So, so I want to put those guys back there. That's pretty good. This is my brush. There's a little green. I'm going to put a little green into those guys. They're working them in. I'm going to go with this kind of yellow green uh, that I made with Prussian blue, yellow, uh, just a little bit of orange in it. And I'm going with that because I think uh, it'll stand out back here, but not jump out and stuff. And if I make these areas big and big, big areas, and I'm not even going to take them all down to the water line here and stuff. I'm going to leave some some areas kind of show through that you can see here above areas you can see into those trees and stuff. So I'm not going to probably touch them. I probably should probably make that a little bit darker, a little more a little uh, more Venetian in that in there. But I'm going to just use this more for the some of the tops. I want some of that purple to show through. So I'm going to take it really kind of easy and just do a little bit of most cross hatching work. And leave it pretty simple back here. Simple is best. And then I'm going to come back with the sky and do uh, dig into these corners and really uh, make this, uh, this tree formation work better. And just by using just a little bit more force on my brush, you know, I can leave more paint. I just leave just a touch more paint and it makes enough difference back there uh, in color. And it really works, does a nice job of creating space. This is what I was missing, definitely missing on my last, when I was there plein air painting. It just sometimes you get going so fast you don't even get a chance to think you just kind of just go and react and the colors and stuff and i that's sort of what i probably miss is just that little more thinking what have what would have done i'm going to go back to my bristle to a big bristle brush now and i'm going to take that same color just ooh, grab a, some blue and venetian together again and just a little bit of white. Just 
a little bit stronger version of the of this down here and just put it in a few spots. Leave it really rough, real rough. I'm using a bristle brush because it just kind of leaves leaves a brush mark and stuff. Just a few spots, just put it in. Bring it in here a little bit. Okay. Since my brush is all dirty and gooey anyway, I might as well start paint this water, right? This water is gonna be that color anyway. Then we'll start off with uh, just more Prussian, or uh, not Prussian blue, sorry. Regular blue, uh, blue hue, cobalt blue hue, and just a little bit of uh, Venetian. And I'm gonna make that kind of a darker version of this stuff back here and put it underneath this here, because this is where the shadow goes in this water. And I want to keep it cool, but I also, I want to keep it cool, but I also want to be able to get to warm quickly. So that's what I'm thinking, and that's why I'm uh, going with Venetian and blue. And that way I can, I can go switch, uh, switch off really quickly and get from cool to warm. Rough this a little. Okay, good. good. Just make this out and kind of comes in just a little bit more back in here. So can't can't hurt to bring it in. Bring it under the trees here a little bit. And then start letting letting the Venetian start to show through right over here. Right there and here I want to start showing a little Venetian show through. Because now it's gonna, this little area, this area here starts to go, goes to that orange. This is that burnt sienna and yellow. Now I'm gonna go with burnt sienna, burnt umber, and in, in, uh, burnt umber and yellow. And that goes right into here, and then should make some nice mixes. And use that, and I'm gonna put. Some, this is burnt sienna on top of it, on the top area right here. I'm gonna have it come down a little bit farther because just because of that red in it, it's gonna come forward. So I'm gonna have to switch you guys around just a little bit. Okay. Now I didn't worry about just don't think about the foam. The foam is not gonna be any not gonna be much much of our friend here. You can uh, Put him in that in pretty easily. Okay, now I'm just starting to shape and make a few quick shape, shadow shapes. Thinking about how the trees are affecting the, the, the shadow and stuff. Sometimes a dirty brush with just all the colors on it will do all the do all the damage. And there's just a little bit of light coming in here. That's just a little bit better. So it's almost blocked in, just like that. Sorry, my phone. <laughs> I figured, you know, you know, it happens, you know. <laughs> you know no big deal. No. With you, you never know, you know, somebody might need, really need you, <laughs> right? Those yeah, I'm actually, angry doing guys. A, I'm actually doing a Zoom session with a, for anger management this oh. week. Are you? Yeah. Cool, cool. What colors are those? 
I have I no idea. I missed it. <laughs> did, no, did I pay attention here? Oh, uh, gee. No, no. This is right here. This yeah. is underneath right here is a uh, burn umber and yellow mix. More, mostly yellow, just a little bit of that burn umber showing through. On top of it right in here is burnt sienna in yellow. It's almost the same value and stuff, but as you can see, it just rises to the top over this off the, over this uh, cooler uh, yellow green and stuff. So then, then basically, with a, I'm just a little bit of this purple going through here, and it's graying out my colors perfectly to go back in here and bring back and get back into the shape. Oops, fell down. And get back into these uh, shadows back here. I mean, there's just a little bit of places where light comes through. And it's gonna, I want to keep it pretty subtle. So then the right over here, whoop, right in here, yeah, it, it gets, comes back to some strength there. So I'm just going to just shove some color in there for now, just to start it off. Oh, now what? Wait a second. Okay. Why don't I just, I'm going to have to clean my brush one way or another now. So I'm going to change brushes and I'm going to paint in the sky. Quick clean brush, might as well paint the blue in. And I'm going to start off with this uh, kind of a, just a more alizarin in white and blue. So it's just a little bit on on the it's kind of it's kind of a uh, it's kind of on the on the uh, pink side and stuff. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. More white. I'm just gonna feed this in around this guy. Usually you say you can only drag it in a little bit in the sky into your clouds a little into the trees a little bit without getting picking up too much green and dirtying up stuff. So I gotta wipe off, wipe it off, grab some more paint. And just go around a little bit. And I'm just gonna just do a little bit of area about this much going with this color. And work it in. Work it into the trees here. Just one little spot here. And then it gets to the when it gets back to these trees in the very back here. Back in here, I'm just gonna go a little bit darker just because there's a tree that goes over them and stuff. And I know if that tree goes over this stuff, it's gotta be a little bit. It's a dark tree and like just the contrast between the tree and the trees back here and the sky will make the sky jump look, look forward a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep it like one or two degrees darker than I would than it is over here, even though it's in the same spot. Let's get rid of a few of those, too many going on. And then I'm just gonna go with more of my blue white, a little bit darker one up here. So it's just a give it a little more push down on the painting, push, push, push the colors down, push the don't drift off too hot too far. Can't really tell, it's pretty close to that color. Just a couple degrees darker. I still got the tree to put in there. So I'm just going to paint it heavy in a few spots. So I still got to get leaves probably in there. I like to keep a little canvas, clean canvas, where the paint will grip. We're not going to be graded on these, right? Oh. Gosh, you know you are. Don't give me that. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Why? Come on, you got to be this far. This is easy, right? Uh I'll take my time. I'll, I'll paint the sky for another 10 minutes and you guys can catch up. Okay. All right. Start telling, telling you stories and stuff. You know. <laughs> I, I'm doing the usual. I, I jump ahead and then you say, don't do that. And I've already done it. So. Just so. Oh, of course, Jeannie. What, you're good at that though. I know. You, you'll, I... you'll come back. You always come back. You come back to the pack. Anyway, yeah, it was like, it was really hot day when I was there too, painting and stuff. I remember that. Uh, and there was still a lot of people walking around and walking behind you while you're painting and stuff and taking pictures. It's kind of weird uh, you know, be out of the studio and working like that with people and talking to them. Like, oh my God, <laughs> kind of conversation. I gotta make conversation. Okay. All right. I am gonna start thinking about this little area here. You know, right behind the trees and stuff. How I can create this big stroke and some of these things right in this area. You know, with a couple strokes and stuff. And I think, you know, if I start up here and with the right stroke, I can just drag it down. Straight stroke, just a little bit of oil would have been good. It would have held, held, held that mark a little bit. And then my brush would be dirty enough to go down and do a little bit of work down here. One of the things I want to tell you though, too, when going one color over another and you're doing water like this um, take it take it slow take it slow because you want the the bristles of the brush to uh, do a lot of the work so if you go too fast you're just gonna uh, fill in a lot of things that could be uh, helpful or, or interesting stuff so uh, there's a little warmth and stuff I got to put in there. But I'm going to do it right now. Uh, the colors I'm using back here, uh, right here, is that uh, the color I was making up for these guys here. Uh, this area here. This. So I'm um, right there. I'm going to be going to that probably next, I guess, won't I? It tells you, kind of tells you where you're going. I'm just going to drag a few spots down here. This is start. What color is that again? Sorry. This is just blue, white, and on the blue side with just a little bit of uh, Venetian in it. Just it makes a gray, nice gray blue. And I'm just gonna using it just for a few spots there, just to get back behind this this tree and stuff. And before I get these rocks that are going to be feeding in here. So, I mean, there is, you know, you know, it's going to be coming out right on this edge here too. If I had any sky, if you have a little bit of sky here, that's going to be what's really reflecting right on this, this edge here. Is this guy up here? And so, if I draw a line, interesting line, you can stop and start each starts and stuff. You don't have to be too perfect with it. And since I just got that blue on my brush, that's all I'm thinking about. I can just start start to make that that edge right there. Go as far as I can. Just a few more spots. To bring it down. I want to keep the keep the dark in the middle of the falls, right? You know, with the rock and the falls and stuff. You want to get the highlight on the very top, and you want to hit the hit some little bit of blue right here at the bottom, but in the middle, 
you want to leave that really dark and that's that burn number in, uh, in blue a little bit. Okay. I'm going to feed this blue in a few other spots here. Oh, it's, it's quitting time. Just like no. that. No, that's it's every quarter of the hour. Oh shoot! I thought it was every half hour. No. I'm done. And I'm done. I'm done. All right. Stroke I'm putting in now here it has a little more red into it. A little uh, purple, purple too. It's in the shadow area right in here. And I'm just twisting my brush. Do a whole flip of that brush, you know. Flip it. And that's how you got to do. This is like moving a baton and stuff. You just got to be able to twist it around and stuff. Get get the full range of strokes with this with the brush. Okay. Now. I am going to start putting in a little bit of foam splotches. Put in this splotch and this splotch and go, go and work my way down. And basically I'm gonna look at those as a path, you know, one big one, a little bit smaller one, a little skinnier one, you know, and then have a turn and then kind of repeat itself down here a little bit in shapes and stuff. And then maybe as it comes forward in forward at the bottom here, I'll probably have to go a little more bluer too. So it's, you know, it might do it on its own just because of this orange in here. Uh, but just saying, uh, if I, you know, I might have to change it a little bit. So I'm gonna, one, the trick to getting one color over another color like this is just grabbing a little bit of oil before you grab your paint, you know, and then grab your paint. And then find the spot you got to go. I mean, you, like I said before in class, you only get like one really good stroke with this color. And that probably is too way too bright. Now I have to redo that brush. I think I'm back. Back here. You know, should should have dulled down just a little bit more. A little bit too bright. I want to keep them pretty simple. There's just a few spots here. They come off, a couple come off back there, but yeah, I don't really count those. But in here, and there's one here. You guys hook up together a little bit. Down here. You guys, oh, what happened to Lisa? I don't, that's who we're missing. We're missing Lisa, aren't we? Lisa didn't show. Let me check. Maybe, maybe she came by and I missed it. No. Okay. Oh. So how's was, how's Eva doing? She sounds very tired. <laughs> She's got to be real busy in her job. Oh my god, that poor lady. Yeah, yeah. That that is something. So what is she doing? What is what is she doing with her job? It's, she's related to the COVID issue. Um, she's a pathologist, right? Right. Yeah, I'm not. I, she's the head of the department, so it's. I'm not sure. You now, what she's. She said she's kind of like looking at a microscope most of the time. And stuff. So. 
yeah, I don't, um, don't know. Okay, so I did right here have to bring up some blue into this, into this just to get it to take take a little bit, and it will just start coming forward a little bit. And I'm going to a couple more dabs of sky kind of coming through here. And find a few spots here. I'm just going to find a few spots to use this where it doesn't just just be end up being just in this one spot. And anyway, this blue and or this blue and orange go great together anyway. So just to feed it in a few spots, always, always nice to do. Um, since I got that going, and I got this layer, next layer over this stuff. Oh, before I can do that, I can't do that. I got right here at the shadow. Cool. It's just where the foam right in this one spot here. Goes from light to from cool to warm. So I want to paint a little bit more into the spot here, I think. All right. Clean my brush a little bit. This is going to be way too dark. Let me see how this goes. Yeah, that's better. This is that orange and uh, sky a little bit uh, mixed with white. Uh, I made up, you know, one of them I said, oh, this is going to be too dark. It's going to save it for the rocks. But as I was putting on that blue, I could see that the relationship, the contrast wasn't uh, exactly the same. So now I'm just going to... I'm using this little bit dark, it's a darker version of that kind of a color. And it's really perfect for it. It is the perfect color. At least the value. And that's what I'm gonna use here. Work my way out a little bit. Not everything has the same amount of color. So I'm taking big shapes here, then drift off into little shapes. And these guys like this are pretty much just like little clouds. They can be as simple as clouds, little round clouds. If you're ever stuck, just, just make a round spot here, kind of rounded edges, shape and stuff. No, I'm not. She's going to twist the brush around. Bigger areas left. It's going to take a little bit of work on these guys. I mean, I could, they're going to take a little more better design time to get these guys to work, come out right. So I'm going to just put a few more in and then. Get to the waterfall. 
the fun part. The fun part, you know, before that clock goes off again. We got to get something done. Right above, right in here. Just catches just a little bit of light. Yeah, the fun part. And then the greens, right? Anyway. Carol, are you still asleep? You awake? Yeah, I'm asleep. <laughs> uh, what? No, I'm waiting for the clock. You wait for that clock and you gotta keep I can keep keep an eye on that clock for me. So Carol, you had trouble getting on the last couple times you said, or your husband was saying? Yeah, well, because I I don't know what I'm doing, but he does, and he still had a problem. I think it was, I don't know what it was. I think it was too many people the first time, and it just kept throwing it back. Yeah, I it it could have been it. Yeah. And and it could have been I you know, sometimes I don't pay attention. I mean, I, you know, if you came in in the middle or something, maybe, I don't know. Well, yeah, I started before time. Oh, and it was, saw you, but then we couldn't hear you. Yeah, we saw you and we couldn't hear you. And then, oh. So then he was fiddling around with it and all of a sudden we couldn't even see you. So. Bob, Bob. We, the time. We, you know, I, I think it was something in the air. <laughs> it wasn't you. <laughs> okay. All right. I understand. No, I was, well, no, it, it could have been me. We, we did have a couple of problems like that. Like I, like I said before, if we do ever go down and stuff like go all the way down and you know, I'm out of here, everybody's knocked off. Just look in your emails and I'll probably, I'll re, you know, reset it up again with a few other things. Right now, you know, you can never tell. Uh, what's I love gonna... the way that water is turning out. Your waterfall. It oh, back here? Great. Yeah. Well, half this thing is, is the least you do, the more right it's going to look. <laughs> yeah, some of those colors in there are working really good. You're, I'm just basically missing yeah. uh, the yellow oranges that I have made up to go over it and some of the hot the height and so I'm just before I get there I'm working my way back I haven't even put the put put in these rocks here yet but you know I started getting this in this you know some of these colors are just really are awesome colors just going to love putting these these oranges against these blues like this and finding them in here and this having purples in here as the cools Makes makes for a lot of kind of a fun little paint. See, you guys thought this was gonna be hard, man. This is a really hard one. <laughs> Look at I just put in a rock. One stroke. Come on. Look at that. One stroke. You just put put your brush down there and you just twist it off and relieve the pressure and you get the this is the the rock right right here by the by the uh between the two the tree and stuff see i got a rock in just like that that's pretty cool it is cool yeah now put the other rock that's over here right in here and almost put it in the same way it's just a slightly different a little more red just to let some of the purple show through Oops. Make it soften it just a hair back. And that's that. And then with a dirty brush, I can start to put in the top of another rock. You know, I gotta get that fake hair for this Bob Ross thing. I gotta, you know, <laughs> I gotta get this down. What do you guys think? A little more. Why not? Yeah, let's go for it, right? 
You don't need a gimmick. <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> I am a gimmick. You don't need a gimmick. You are a gimmick. I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, though. No, I'm not. I'm... Uh. This is just some painting in the highlights of some of these rocks back in here, uh, back in here. So if you can't, this photo didn't have have all the things, but there's a, like, I don't know, what is that, like 10, 10 rocks or so. Just trying to keep them from getting too much the same color. That is hard to do. What's that? I think it's hard to do. These rocks are hard. Uh, the rocks, the, I, the thing to do with these rocks is really think about the space and the shadow space and not go over it. Try to just cut around the, sh the shadows and just hit the highlights first. And then go back and think about maybe where the, uh, where the mid tone would be. And try not to uh, overstep. Uh, into the darks too much. Leave the darks be as much as possible. So yeah, yeah, you gotta be able to do a little bit of drawing here. And, you know, as you go. And uh, it takes a little bit. One of the things is in these rocks too, is you're gonna find that there's areas of, of green too, because they're reflecting a lot of this green from above. So if you're looking for a color or something to use, uh, it's probably going to have a lot of green in it. Or purple, going in some purples here. Green, green and purple together for these back, back rocks and the shadows here. You're just going to be a little purple and a little bit of green together. And that's it for the rocks. That's about you know, coming here, there's going to be a couple coming right here on the water. Uh, not too much. Okay, so everybody with me, right? No one against me yet? Everybody's with oh. me. Come on, come on, faster, faster. Row, row. <laughs> See, I haven't even thought about that. So this is a good point right here, though, too, is because I haven't even thought about the reflection of these rocks into this thing here. So that was kind of a when when lights reflect, when light light uh, light colors reflect into uh, water and stuff, they usually go a little duller. When shadows or dark colors reflect in the water and stuff, uh, they usually go a little lighter than the, the original and stuff. So they just reverse kind of thing. So think about that. Um, Could you say that again? No, I can't. I oh. can't. <laughs> yep. uh, when lights reflect. Yeah, when light colors reflect, uh, like if any of this foam reflects into the water and stuff, or right. the sky reflects, it's going to be a shade or two darker than the, the original. And when any shadow dark areas reflect into the water, they are going to be uh, a shade or two lighter in the, in the reflection. Just, just a little bit. Things, you know, yeah, that might happen and stuff. I mean, you know, if you look for things, so. So that's why I'm thinking about the a few reflections here. And it's just, there's really not much here. Just, I'm just going to twist my brush around and make a ref, sort of a reflection, just a little bit brighter, a little color here, right below these guys, into the, sh into the shadow here. Not much. And then we get to the fun thing. 
All right, now we're in. Waterfalls. There you go. And the girl wanted to do Waterfalls isn't here. I can't Aww. believe it because she did show for it. That's kind of like the person thing. I did a person on Saturday and the person I was doing a person for didn't, didn't want to do a person. <laughs> like, wait a second. You that was hard. To do it. There were two fishing poles. <laughs> oh my God. Two fishing poles, not just one. I really went all out. Yeah. Did you work on that one or what? No, no, no. No. I'm still working on the horse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, these classes start to blend together after a while for me and stuff. Okay. So yeah, there's some nice nice effects starting to happen. These guys are going to be built out a little bit more, but uh, I'm going to keep the shapes and just kind of you know soft, make them a little bit rounder right here. They get a little too much of an edge and stuff. So sometimes you can just you know use your finger and just you know make the red roundness or whenever they get like this a little bit not enough. Just just too boring of a turn there. Just give it a little more. Give it a little bumps and stuff. Sometimes they just kind of start rolling away. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, that one's going to, this spot here is going to have to be hit a little bit stronger. Not much. So you guys having fun yet? This is fun? It is. It's turning out, well, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's challenging. <laughs> it, right. uh, 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 yeah. Very challenging. And I don't Next scene. Andrea, I'm getting in front. Of, don't quit copying me, Andrea. I know she, she's just copying me. All I see her looking over at my painting constantly. What's he doing? <laughs> Wait, quit it. <laughs> Isn't that what we're supposed to do? It's a test. This is a test. You failed. Ugh. There. Now, you, now paint it. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you guys, this is consider. you guys are considering this one kind of hard though? I mean, I I'm not going to be able to... Anytime I have to paint rocks and water, it's hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good to know. Good right. to know. That's... I know you're, you're a gamer. You're a gamer. You're here, right? Right. You, you don't complain half as much as you think you do. I don't express half as many of the complaints as I have in my head. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay. There we go. I knew that. I should have known it was coming. So this is just white with what? What color am I putting on? Yeah. Oh, you're you're right there watching. Somebody's watching me. I am no, watching. This, my yes. This good, good. This had a little, this color here I'm just putting in, it's a little bit brighter. It's gonna start working back into, right here into the foam and stuff. And that that is that, uh, uh, it's just a little bit of cat orange, just a slightly bit of cat orange. So it's kind of good, when you put white into cat orange, it kind of goes to a, uh, just, just a little more uh, coral kind of color. Oh, okay. So, then I, put, then I put just a little bit of blue into it from the sky, the sky blue, and that has, uh, you know, blue and, and uh, white into it. And that kind of cream, creamed it down a little bit more. And then I, when I put it in here, it just, it's grabbing a few colors. So I'm going to have to put it in gently, you know, almost, or, or more aggressively when I put it in a little bit more thicker so it doesn't, so it mixes a little bit on the bottom part of the, of the paint that goes on but then the top of the paint is still clean. So we have this, you know, kind of makes an island of paint going on here. So it's wet on the outsides and clean on the insides. So I'm just gonna start working that back in here and then go to my other layer colors 
which uh, are the little uh, ones with a little more yellow in them and then a little bit bluer in, in them. Some little areas where I can find some blue and pinks and stuff. And that's where this is going to come in handy. But well, should looking at this one. This ah. start, start seeing these colors in here, the warmth and stuff that I, I was seeing in the middle of these. Uh, where the water was really flowing over and stuff. There's a lot of green, yellow green ish, almost a little bit of orange into it, stuff too. So and that's where it gets kind of really impressionistic because you can just little, put little dabs of color and stuff in these little areas. Now, I tell you, the, the highlights on this thing, they're basically almost pink. They're almost a high key pink, almost white, just a little bit of uh, thinking cat cad red, just a touch of cad red. It might be cat, it might be alizarin. I'm not, I gotta look at it and when I get there and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's it's a warm, it might be warm, but it might work better as a cool, so it might have to be alizarin. Because alizarin makes these makes just just a little bit different pinks and stuff. But those would be the, like the highlights that go right right around the edge of the you know where where it's coming off, where it start to starts to fall, and the water starts to come really off and stuff. And then there's only a couple of them coming down here, like right here. This is the edge right here. Rocks, yeah, the rocks over here need a lot more work and stuff. But I'm, you know, they're they're placed, they're placed. There's some green, lighter greens there go in here first. But we got to get that water right back in here now. Enough, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Move it off. <laughs> right? See, right now, about now, I'd be walking around class looking at your work and, and saying, wait, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> so, okay, let's go. Let's, I'm going to keep going with that color. I like it a lot. It's a little bit pretty bright. And I'm going to bring it right into here. Bring the spot right in here. Is that warm enough? No. I'm not going to do the big splurge yet. Gonna do the shape yet? I want. So you're right here with me, huh, uh, Lynette? I'm here. You're right I'm, I'm there. With me. Man, we're gonna I have to see how good right? it is, but I'm doing it. All right. Yeah, I'm just figuring out this a little bit. When I'm doing the water too, as you can see, almost this one spot here, where your brush goes, you you follow the direction of of the water and stuff. You start at the top, and you bring it down and let it let the brush do the work. It's going to create a lot of the work for you do a lot of the damage in, in, in it and stuff. So I always look for that. Like I said, I think like I said earlier, yeah, I've never really experienced that. This part? Well, where the work, the brush does the work for you. <laughs> uh, you know, you just got to give it time. You, 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 uh, I'm a brush whis whisperer, whisperer. I talk to my brush a lot. And it, <laughs> it uh, that's how I get it to work. You know, you can, I just, I, I do it really low. You guys probably can't even hear what I'm saying. So that's why. So I'm just working, now I'm working some of these uh, yellow, whites and stuff back in here. Cause I can see them right, right back here. Got 
got a little bit warm here. There's got there's a little warmth right on top of this this guy that's not showing up yet. But I'm working as I, I'm just going to go across this way, work through what I got, my colors. Instead of working on one little area, I'm going to work the whole thing. Just go one, go go through it, grab another color, go back through it, and then then it'll start uh, taking shape, and then I can start def redefining areas. So I'm just going to get a couple, a couple spots here. That clock does not like me. Now let me ask you this: It has nothing about the painting, but okay. Uh, does does this um, internet go off at a certain time? Like, are you not with us? Does it just turn off, or no? What? No, I'm. I'm. It can pretty much goes to the full time and stuff, and then. Uh, it doesn't really exactly shut off. It's just basically telling, I have to tell you guys how long a meeting is going to be and stuff. They recommend meetings of like 45 minutes Yikes. and stuff, but yeah, we could never get anything done in that. Oh, but you, you have the program that goes 24 hours. I do. I bought the, the expanded program. Yeah. And that, yeah, yeah, that we got, yeah, you guys want to be here? And that wants to be here 24 hours. Anybody else go with her? <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. Lynette, you're on your own. <laughs> you're going to be looking at a, a blank screen most of the time. <laughs> so here I am, I'm thinking about these things. I'm bringing in just, I'm thinking about trying not to touch too much. It's always just a little bit less than I'm, trying to do when I hit my highlights and stuff just they can be even smaller they can than the, what what you think they are because that's when highlights get really horsey when you overdo your highlights and stuff like over here this guys that's pretty much it there might be these might be one little pink pink going in here not much else and then like I'm now going to start working my way back here and uh get a few of these things. I like what's going on here. I like the rhythm of uh, the strokes and stuff going on. So I'm not gonna, gonna try to work with what I have. And so it's not gonna be exactly what I, what's working here, but uh, it's gonna be using that as a, as a, a base, but it's, it's gonna change a little bit. So that, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, uh, It is that burnt sienna, no, burnt umber and yellow. Basically this color down in here. And I'm gonna run it right over here. I'm just gonna run it right up to these spots and get the darker areas and stuff. And start pulling it down over it. So it's really a lot warmer. So you said the burnt umber and what? Burnt umber and yellow. It's more more yellow than burnt umber. It's just a touch of burnt umber in it. And I'm going to use that for some of these, going over some of these areas and stuff. And there's just like little teeny long skinny triangles coming down. So I'm just using a little piece of my brush, little little edge, about half, you know, a third of my brush edge. I'm putting it down. And as it comes down, I'm just twisting my brush ever so slowly, making a, uh, having it come down. And just let it roll. And that's what you, the little things that, what to start to take time is just being able to do, doing those. Because you almost have to start, it's going to be like a, a pattern of how these colors have to go and stuff. They're just going to, how they lock into each other. It's like a quilt almost. You know, you can take and put a little bit more orange or something in it. In the corners and stuff. So it doesn't have to be exact thing. Because I have my uh, yellow and, or and orange back in down here. Yeah, 
it's pretty close to itself on the palette, so it's, it's pretty cool to just have a few different colors sometimes go in one of these strokes coming down. Now I'm going to work it back in here just a little bit, a few spots. Bring it right into this light I put in here. Let it break it up a little bit. Just like that. Where it mixes, sometimes it's really great. So it's all really gentle too. I'm just, I, I barely hold on to my brush when I do these things. That's over here. Just. So you guys, that's it. You guys know all my secrets now. That's it. There's no more. Well, this is good. We really get a good close up of what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys can't even. See. You guys are working on your own painting so hard. You guys don't even know I'm, I'm in there over, even over there painting. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We're watching you like a hawk. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so now it's mixing up just some beautiful things. And all I can say is this is where you almost have to, you want to get transparencies going and stuff too. So it's really not a back and forth scumble. It's just a dragging of the brush over one color and letting the paint just kind of mix and not mix and, you know, just rack, racking your brush as much. Just trying to recreate little little things like this, you know, how you put, you slap it down and as you come down, you, you roll your brush one way and you roll it back, back and forth as you come back and down, just to recreate these things. And thinking about the layers of colors and complexity and stuff, seeing, trying to see the pinks and the oranges and the blues in these browns and stuff too. Yes, ever so lightly, just tone that one back. This one better go back just a little bit on that side, a little bit. And it's okay to have uh, raw canvas show. Gosh, that's some of the coolest things is when you have raw canvas, uh, you know, show up in your paintings. It's like it kind of really kind of hits the spot sometimes. I see here somebody yawning again in there. <laughs> it's not my, yeah, I think it's my son because he always does. He's like, I oh, goes, oh, you know, he sighs. <laughs> Is he paying attention too? No, he's focused on something else. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is he is he done with school at all, or did they they just sent him home? Uh, they sent him home. He goes to Loyola, but they're doing all online classes. Okay, yeah, that's what my son's doing too. He, he was, yeah, he still says, his, you know, just, just as much work now, again. So it's like, he's, he just can't yeah. go to class. They're making him work, that's for sure. Are they? Okay, so he's not just goofing off at home again. No, I would yeah. say no. Okay, well, you would say no. Okay, good, good. We don't want any more goofing off anyway, do we? I know. Yeah. <laughs> We've had enough. Okay. Uh, I am going to start going to a little more uh, these uh, white oranges kind of thing. These are like the burnt sienna and white and stuff. Right here is a rock. Water's going around this rock. It's hitting this rock and stuff. So basically, all I'm going to do is take a loaded brush and uh, find a few spots to find that rock, and just take my brush and just twist, twist off a little, going in the opposite direction of the splash. And I want to get this in underneath, above, behind here, because I'm going to come back with a a little bit, sorry, a little bit lighter color. Uh, on top. So if I can get this in here just by a, a roll of a brush, 
I'll be doing be way on my way. And then I come over here and just twist it off. Just push it, click it, you know. Less you do, the better it's going to be. You can just have paint. Trust, trust that you can. You have. A, you want to have a lot of paint on here, especially when you get to the lights. More, the more of the paint you put on there, the better it's going to be. You really want it three dimensional, more sculpture pull. So even I just like to get trying to get some colors in behind here. I'll have, bleed off a little bit. Now I gotta come back and just get a little more heat. A little cool right in there. Okay. One more spot. Tree comes in right there. All right, I'm gonna go back with just a little bit of a darker value of that color. I use right here this light. Come back and hit these guys one more time. A little faster, same draw. Just let it. Make. Going from one side of the brush, making a triangle to the next. I was going to give you guys Niagara Falls, you know, I was going to do that, but, you know, it was just, just too much, a little bit too big. Really quick. This, is this is good size? Yeah, this is plenty. Okay. I like this better. Yeah, I Niagara Falls is kind of. It's interesting, but it's just all false. <laughs> you know, we'd be doing this part forever. You know, were you there? I went there a couple of years ago. We were there. <laughs> went to Toronto and ended up going, taking a day trip there. That was a lot of fun. That was, I mean, it was a great, good, really good trip. Did you paint there? No, I didn't paint. I just took a lot of pictures, thinking I would. Someday I'd, I'd do a painting of Niagara Falls, you know, but when you're done, it's a painting of Niagara Falls, you know, it's not a, not too exciting, you know. Well, everybody in the world has done Ni Niagara Falls, right? <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't, just doesn't jump out at you and stuff, you're right. So. Here, I'm going to put a little bit of light back coming through here. Just, and I can't, can't tell you, say how, how little you got to hold this brush, you know, just twist it and just make a little, your little marks. It just takes time to build it up. Every once in a while, you get to do a big mark. It's fun. It's fun. It really is fun. Like a little bit of more light, light white right now. See, my painting, I could, I just feel like I just, I tried to get these colors and I just, at that point, everything was so wet, I just couldn't, I was 
uh, having a trouble the colors were mixing so quick you know so fast yeah, I couldn't get it couldn't keep the stuff yeah I was just working too fast I didn't have this it's that's a tough thing about that kind of uh, painting and stuff is you got to be able to make your mark and uh, live with it you know the great thing about oils is we don't have to live with anything really. I mean you can always change it later on do you like plein air oh yeah it's fun it's fun you know if you're doing it with a group and stuff it's it's a lot of fun stuff uh it's very challenging and stuff but if you just kind of kind of know the rules of timing it's it's timing you know how long it takes you to do something you can kind of know know how to do it i mean it's just never uh biting off too much you can chew because you only get you do it is a time limit going on and you know an hour and a half is pretty much it so you got to know what you can really kind of handle in an hour and a half so sometimes it's usually you find the, the smaller scenes the simpler scenes are the ones that can always turn out best so now let's see if i, I want to bring that place just a little bit more It always comes up just a little bit slower here. So, Carol, are you painting with us or are you just watching today? I am doing something. <laughs> are you painting, though, something? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going along with it, but okay. I don't even want to tell you what I'm doing because I'm, right. mu I'm using pastels. Because I, I misplaced oh. my oils the other day. I started cleaning out something. And so yeah. I'm, I'm going along, but it's different. Down the road. That's okay. You'll have to show it to us, though, you know, at the end. So you have to get that. that uh, I, don't, I don't think I know on. how to do that. Uh, it's just a, let me see. I don't know if I can get you done. I don't know how to do it. Let me see. Uh, and it's I'll just like, kick you off. I'll just kick you off, Carol. You're going to kick me off? No. I'm trying oh, to see if I can get your camera to work. I don't know. <laughs> I, no, I can't make it work. I was going to hopefully get that your camera to work and surprise you. Yeah, don't, don't do anything because I won't see you then and I'll be... I won't know how to get back on. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jim, I, I got to sign off, but uh, this was great, and I'm going to continue, and then uh, I'll watch okay. the video. All right. Yeah. I was just, I just, I was just going to put in some greens and stuff, or kind of a little more highlights on these balls, and then yeah. put in the greens and put yeah. the tree in. So yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll put it up in a couple days for you. Okay. You got enough great. work. To do. Well, I'm still working on the ear of the horse, so. Oh, are you? Oh, oh I sent you a whole, all the changes to do. Did that help I out? I know. It, it helped, but, you know, but I, anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'll show it to you when it's done. All right, good. Okay. Good. Yeah, so long. I'm going to uh, dial lock also. I've got, uh, I don't know, I can do two. I mean, I've got a long ways to go here. Let's put it that way. Okay. Well, work on them and send me pictures and stuff as you go, and I'll I'll give you some uh, some help. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Really All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. It's, it's a beautiful okay. uh, yeah, reference like photo. Along. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Okay, thank we'll you. see you later, Andrea. Bye. Everybody's going. Aww. Yeah. Good night. All right. <laughs> Good night. All right. We're just you know, we have to get up for work real early tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. 
sound. <laughs> 20. Two, two hours. Two hours is good time. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Can All I, right. We'll, I... we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Carol, you want you, Carol, you still on? I'm still on. I'm still on. And um, I mean, it, it looks like mine is um, coming along and I'm excited about it. Good. So, what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to get um, the picture. I'm going to get the pic. I don't know how to do all this maneuvering and stuff with the computer, but um, I'm going to try to get the picture copied. And okay. um, I'm going to continue because I have the back, the background all done. I have yeah. the background that done. You and you can I, use your iPad too. You know, just leave it on your iPad and watch it play it work work off that. Oh, okay. Because the printing and stuff you'll find out just is like this compared. You know, it's very dull. Dull. Stuff. Very oh. dull. Compared to compared to what it really is, the vibrance you're gonna miss it all. So I would you know, do that. and I, I love that. I love what you did. I mean, it's it's just great, and it makes me oh. feel good. Like I can't wait to find um, what I did with those. Oils, <laughs> but it, right. everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> God, I tell you, two hours just goes by so quick, doesn't it? I mean, I, I didn't know. Even... Well, but but Jim, that's how classes were. When yeah. we had class, it used yeah. to fly by like that, and then you'd have to drive home. This is so much better. Isn't it? <laughs> you, yeah. know, you just sit there. I'm, for me, too, I'm just, my cleanup is, I don't have to do a great cleanup. I just kind of wash my brushes and go on upstairs and relax, you know? Right. What kind of lighting do you have where you're at? Uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I got, oh, a, it? I got a fruit. For or for essence above me that you know is taking up a lot of uh, it really puts down too much light coming down so I have it blocked off in a few places trying to diffuse the light and then I got these lights on the on two sides one for the palette where right? you can see the color because it's dark ones you can't see and then this one over here kind of kind of to counteract the light on that and giving me a, you know a little light there on the side of my face where I don't go too dark in the shadows here. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. And um, your painting is, it's almost finished, right? Yeah, I mean, really, i tell you the truth. I'm not going to do too much more here. I can get a, you can get a better look on it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Now I could see the brush strokes. Yeah, wow. as you can see, especially in, in this area here. I really like this area because yeah. it's the big strokes and then the little dashes of, on top of it. Right. You know, that's that's what I love doing. That's what I really like doing. So I'm gonna try not to, you know, when I put that the problem is right here is that's where one of that tree goes over it. So that's why I didn't want to put that tree in too early. Because now I can go, well, you know, maybe I'll just move that tree over farther down the road. I was you know, gonna say put it that. In. I was gonna yeah. say that because that to the right, that part, oh my god. That's yeah. beautiful. I wouldn't put the tree until tomorrow when I looked at it again. That's a very good point. That's a very good yeah. point. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And your sky, I mean, I saw the brush strokes on your sky. Gorgeous. See, that's what I like to do. I, I want to develop a style that is uh, impressionistic. Yeah. I, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's it's very loose, isn't it? I mean, just I'm trying to stay very loose and not tighten up. I tighten up little by little by little. You know, each step, so I'll take another, tighten it, tighten it, and then just work the painting. Right. So it's, always, it's always enjoyable to do it that way. That way you can always have options of not tightening up an area and then tightening up the right, a different area. Okay, That's so now let me ask you one more question before I go. Okay. Um, now, now, are you going to post that painting? What like I you, just did? Yeah. Are you going to do that?